All right, Rex was a Texan out of New Orleans. I got a little project here. That's actually a uh, client's project. I'm getting paid on this one. Not like my other fun projects that I have sitting around here. This spike, though, is kind of fun. If you notice the uh, crazy fancy lugs on the front of it, and it is, oh, let me fix this for you. It is a Sears, and, uh, well, the camera can't quite pick it up, but it, uh, it says Sears Roebuck and Company, made in Austria. It's got the little stars impressed around the Sears emblem there. And, uh, basically the bike's in pretty de decent shape overall, except for the daddy, his father, said the bike fell and landed on a rock or something real funny. But you can see, starting from here, I'll come down, you can see the twist in the frame, and then the bend there, and then you come around to here, you can see the bend there. So, I honestly recommended this guy to, uh, you know, not ride this bike, to put it up as a display piece, but it's really sentimental to him, and uh, I'm pretty handy dandy with my metal work, so I figured why not I'll give it a shot. So, uh, that's a pretty decent little introduction there. Let me get set up. Alright, so, I got my little setup here, a little torch and whatnot. What I'm going to try to start working on first is that first bend and crook right there. So let me go ahead and set this old boy up. Alright, it's been a while since I've used this thing. Nope, chip's not dirty. Dirty, dirty. Alright. Oh, what I got here is. Wait, take this little off. My bad. Got my pocket dragon. Probably not made here. See what it is anymore. Alright. Don't mind if the paint burns a little bit. It usually does that. So anyways, Rex here. Got that bike apart, or almost apart that I was telling you about. I'm working on next. It's kinda laying over here. I haven't got a whole lot too much done. I've actually uh in the last video I kinda dropped a small note on this nineteen sixty Sears. You can see I've almost got it completely stripped down. The repairs came out pretty well. A couple of rough spots, but I think those are, might have been actually from when the bike got hit. As you can see, though, it's pretty decent. The guy actually might be able to ride this thing again. It's got a little wave to it. Lined up the triangles again back on the dropouts. Lined up the dropouts again. So, let's see what we can get done on this thing. So, I didn't get much further than I did last time. I made a little clip and update, but you see I removed the label and you can see this uh, pretty wild little green here. Pretty dark, real common on a lot of older bikes back then. Uh, too bad she'll never be that color ever again. I got the label sitting over here off to the side. Possibly, uh, Whenever we're done, put it back in with a little epoxy and a couple of tiny little screws to go back in the original holes where the rivets were. So we're going to put that up over here, get out of the way. Also, I wanted to put another note. This bottom bracket axle hadn't been out in so long. You can see just the crap coming off of it. I mean, the bearings were basically in place with no grease. But they were being held in place with the combination of rust and grease. 
So that will definitely have to be something that he's going to have to pay attention to whenever, uh, whenever he gets it done. All right, so I got it finished up for the most part. Came out looking really good all about and all around. The metal's in pretty decent shape. Everywhere where I thought maybe that the frame was going to be a little pitted, it actually isn't. Uh, the repairs came out okay for the most part. Without some more of the uh, actual proper utensils that I would need to do this correctly, this is about as good as I believe I can get. Also, whenever I was cleaning it up, I've got a little repair to do right there. So I'll get my little machine out and just tack that back in so the man can have him some breaks. On another note, uh, I've got some sad news. I had to uh, actually repossess a bicycle. The uh, I really hated to do it. The guy had really already gotten attached to it, and he really liked the bike. Uh, he gave me some money down, so I go ahead and I went ahead and let him have the bike. You know, basically saying he was going to pay off the rest when he got paid this past Monday. Well, he got an envelope with his name on it from work, and he had no paycheck in it. So uh, business is business. You know, he understood that. I had to come back and basically uh, I had to repossess the bike from him. So uh, if anybody sees this and wants to uh, pay off the difference of what he owes and buy this bicycle, well, feel free. I'll be more than willing to sell it to you. Uh, if you're in New Orleans or in Louisiana area, you can drive to come get here. I might meet you halfway. Uh, if you're anywhere else, you're going to have to pay for your own shipping and handling, buddy. Anyhow, so that's about that for that. Okay, now I got it hanging on the rack that I made, conveniently enough. With some wheels on both sides, a little crossover, and it bolts on so I can change the top. I got a couple different heights that I use and a couple different attachments that I use for these things. I'll even use these uh, for engine lifts. Anyhow, so as you see, right here, I got my weld done. It was a pretty simple little fix even as thin as the tubing is on this bicycle hung up We're gonna get this bad boy from the 60's primed out so we'll see you right. later look what we got here everything's primered up first coat I'll let this dry and then once it dries I'll change the angle and hang it from the bottom bracket just to get a different look at everything in the light to make sure that I've covered everything up uh, Bars are pretty banged up in the rear, but they are straight. So he's got to be able to ride it without it collapsing on him. All right. And then what I got over here, we're on two projects at once today, trying to uh, make up some time since uh, I have the repossession over there. I gotta make up for the lack of money from that. So I've got this thing stripped down. Stickers are off, and it's clean. If you notice. I got X's laid out all over the frame and it's just a little simple modification not really you know just for some looks um, my girl's doing most of the modifications with her uh, airbrush artwork which you can see some of her real basic stuff that fooling around on the front of our refrigerator And I've got these little spikes that are the tips of medallions. I do a uh, wrought iron fence work. And sometimes I get silly requests where I have to go buy a bunch of pieces and cut off a bunch of unnecessary pieces to make them look like other pieces. So I got 50 of these metal spikes here. And everywhere there's an X, I'm going to weld one of these spikes and then touch everything back up with the flat black paint like it is already and then Erica is going to probably put some uh, blue skulls along the tubing of the frame somewhere and the suspension forks a little bit of a flame job down at the bottom we'll see how that comes up once I get it all cleaned up and we get this stuff welded on on another note good day for scores in the trash yeah I know it's a huffy yeah, I know, they sell them for bullshit prices at Walmart. But here's the thing. This is a steel full suspension bike. A lot of them nowadays are aluminum in the front 
and steel swing arm in the back. Well, if I got steel in the front and steel in the back, means I can cut this off, and I can cut this off, and I can make another bicycle. Very much so, like the Batmobile here, with its swing arm up in the rear. So, coming to theaters near you will be another elongated swing arm bike. Um, don't know yet if I'm going to make it a theme bike or not. I've really been pushing around the idea of making a, a spider web type bike, maybe even a spider man bike. But, uh, anyhow. Keep you guys posted. Got an, another section coming up here. A little in something to show. I guess uh, working with Craigslist today. I got this small haul for twenty dollars for these four little bicycles. I'll probably fix this and give it to the neighbors. Probably do something with that. Try to sell it for cheap. Definitely going to uh, just fix that and turn around and put it back on Craigslist. And I'm going to repair and do a little bit of painting to that and turn around and put it on Craigslist. So that I'm good on. I got this piece of shit right here, I think I mentioned before, about the sway arm, so I can make another bike like the Batmobile. In fact, now I know I have said something already. Got the second coat of primer on the 1960s Sears Roebuck. <coughs> then we come over here. Check this out. Oh, we've got spikes, 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 spikes. we got spikes on the front. Spikes going down the frame, do 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 doom. Spikes coming up the front of the frame, all the way to the seat post, and the spikes going down the rear. I don't know what the finished product of the paint job's going to be, but I know it's going to be flat black with some airbrush work. But that is what I'm going to have done here coming up pretty soon. I'll get to show it to you again once I get it all touched up and painted. So we got us a beautiful day out here. In the middle of nowhere, New Orleans, aka Girt Town. Just giving you a little update on the uh, 1960 Sears Roebuck and the uh, Spike bike. I got this bike that I scored the other day, a bunch of bikes for 20 bucks. I got it fixed. And it's on Craigslist, awaiting and pending sale. And as we walk around to the side, you can see we've got another bicycle fixed and awaiting and pending sale. And then we've got the same victims out here and there laying around. I do have one cool idea. See that Western Flyer girl's bike? I think about cutting off the front of that bike and welding it to the rear end of this little bitty kid's bike. So we'll see how that works out in the end. So to the Sears Roebuck, as you can see, I've got the first coat of white on it. And it's coming together. And if we come over here, I'm trying to get this one done in time for Halloween. This is the Spike Bike. Whoa. Look at that sucker, man. It's got the spikes and it's the sharpest bike in town. I'm telling you what, man. It's the sharpest bike in town. If there was ever to be a bike that was supposed to be in Hellraiser, this would be the bike, man. Anyway, so, uh, got those drying. Other than that, not too much going on in the Rex world, except for occasionally from here to there, from time to time on the other side of the fence. I got some kitties coming to visit. That's about it. So I guess uh, not a very exciting episode, but this is definitely going to conclude the uh, third episode of Rex was a Tux. My bad. Rex was a Texan out of New Orleans. <laughs>